Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Blake. And welcome, welcome to, to HEB Flicks. The 2018 XXL Freshman Magazine is approaching and all the up and coming rappers want in. Artists such as Lil Skies, Takashi69, and Famous Dex are looked at to be on the cover. The XXL is a very prestigious cover to be on because it usually means you are looked at as one of the next big stars in the music industry. Artists such as Logic, Lil Yachty, 21 Savage, and many others have made an appearance on this cover. What's no. your opinion? Um, Who do you think you sh should get in? Six nine, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Takashi's very uh, he's very hot in the game right now. Oh yeah. He pops the glickies like a willy, and I mean he really doesn't let like any filter on him. Yeah. I like that about him. Lil Skis is pretty good too. Yeah. I like his music. It's pretty downward I slope. Heard a lot of it. So I heard, you showed me a song actually yesterday. Yeah, Red Roses. Yeah, that's so, good. Yeah. If you have not already heard, Logic and is now currently ex-wife for going through a divorce. The divorce wasn't attributed to any arguments or fighting. Logic simply wanted to enjoy a single and successful life. What's your take on the situation? Go ahead and comment down below. Well, my take on this is that it's a very sad situation, but it often reminds us that with celebrities and relationships that what we see is not always the reality and there's deeper things below it. You know, you can't blame him though because he's doing so hot right now and he's yeah. making all this money and he's you know, having all this, all this fun and stuff. So I, I don't blame him personally for wanting to just, you know, Step yeah, back from his decision, you know. Yeah. And she's still going to run that check, so. You're right. Professional Fortnite players and music artists come together. If you haven't already heard, Ninja, one of the most skilled and entertaining Fortnite players in the world, played the hit game with Drake. It must have been very entertaining considering that Ninja's Twitch channel broke the record for most viewers in a stream ever. Over 600,000 people. Okay. He, you so. know, I actually tuned into this stream live, and he was playing with uh, Travis Scott LaFlame, and Juju Smith. Schuster. Yeah, Schuster. He plays for the Steelers. Yeah. Um, it was a very entertaining stream. Fortnite's a very popular game. I really like it. What's your take on it? Personally, I've never played it, but I really do think it's 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 overrated. Yeah, I mean, only someone that's never played it could say that, but yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. The classic video game, Duke Nukem, was announced for a movie adaptation to begin production in 2018. For months, there was speculation as to who would play the lead role of Duke Nukem, but last week it was finally announced that former heavyweight world champion John Cena will be taking the helm. Cena is currently starring in the film Blockers, which is set for release April 6th. John Cena is hoping to jumpstart his acting career and continue to wrestle, just like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. John Cena, I mean, he's he's a good actor, I guess. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't seen him in a lot of things, you know. Yeah, the Fred movies. Yeah, you, you I have that? seen those. He yeah. was hidden in a lot of them, though. He was, he couldn't... Um, but yeah, he played the dad. Yeah. yeah, great role model, great, great wrestler, great man. Yeah, interested to see how he plays in this movie. Really, Rampage, the classic arcade game, is coming to theaters in a live-action setting, with familiar faces such as Dwayne Johnson, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Will Yun Lee. Rampage is about a primatologist played by Johnson and his gorilla companion George. The mood changes when George gets changed from a gentle giant to a raging monster by a rogue experiment. So am I the only one that noticed that they named the gorilla George? Yeah, it's kind of like a play on Curious George. Yeah, I hope, it they don't, I hope they don't get copyrighted for that. Yeah, and we'll be interested to see how they do this. And but you know what else? Um, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson. He's in a lot of things. He's in everything. Like, every movie that comes out now, he's in it. Like, Fast yeah, and Furious. Yeah, I mean, Furious. I bet if you baked a cake, he'd be in that, too. I so bet he I mean, would. I bet he would. Yeah. Yeah, really. Are you ready? This last Thursday was the release of Ready Player One. The movie is about a, a VR world made by the mysterious Mr. Halliday called The Oasis. Halliday dies and leaves the world with a final puzzle, an easter egg in the game. The one to find it will gain control of all of The Oasis. Um, this movie has a lot of, a lot of um, nods to different games that came out. Yeah, like a lot of 80s. cameos, oh, really? a lot of references to games, old movies, like yep. Back to the Future. Oh, yeah, the yeah, it's in the trailer, so that's kind of Yeah, cool. and I really like the integration of all the CGI mixed with the real oh, live there, I mean, action. There's a lot of CGI. I mean, for a movie like this to have, you know, all the effects and stuff. It's... Yeah, we'll see how Spielberg does with this one. Really? Yeah. Deadpool 2. This week, a new trailer came out giving us more details behind the Merc with a Mouse sequel. The trailer shows familiar faces such as Wade, Colossus, Dope and Her, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and Vanessa. The trailer also brought some new additions like Bedlam, Domino, and most importantly, Cable, who seems to be the time-traveling antagonist. So, we had Mr. C on the show a few weeks ago. Yeah. And he pretty much predicted this movie. He did. Weeks before its time like, of announcement. Really? Yeah. And he was like, he's like, 
guys, I have the news. And yeah. He, he knew. He knew. He basically just gave us good insight onto what we can expect in this movie. You can expect a lot of cussing, action, oh, of course, and good times, good lulls. But you know what? So, but you know what? Deadpool is a good series. I think. I, mean, I think they have a lot of going. What do you think about a uh, Deadpool three? Deadpool three, coming up soon. I, ask Mr. C. We'll get him back on the show. Tell us. Are giant monsters taking over the world again? Get the Jaegers ready to save the world as the second Pacific Rim movie has landed in theaters. Pacific Rim Uprising came out last Friday. The movie had an all right review. IMDb rated the movie a 6 out of 10, as this is a downgrade because the first film had a review of 7 out of 10. Don't let the rating stop you from watching it yourself. Go watch Giant Robots in Action, take on monsters to protect the world. So, you know what, Pacific Rim, <laughs> I never saw the first one, and I really don't have any interest in seeing the second one. Yeah, I haven't seen the first one, but I'm looking forward to a third, because I watch them backwards, you know? Oh, you do? I oh, do yeah. that sometimes. I know, I know people who do that. Yeah, which is me. Right, I know yes, you. Yes, I am one of them. But the Giant Robots... Taking on like Godzilla. Yeah, I mean th that's to defeat those giant monsters. You're gonna have to use a real big licky. I agree. So, it doesn't matter if the task is big or small. Ant Man will never stop being a hero. Marvel has another present for their fans. Ant Man and the Wasp. The Wasp, who is Ant Man's new partner in crime, will be joining him in action as she can fly, shrink, and zap her enemies with her blasters, which Ant Man is upset he doesn't have. Ant-Man 2 comes out on July 6th, so get ready for what Marvel has next. You know, um, Ant-Man was a good movie. I saw the first one. I have not. You haven't? I have. I should. You should. He's he's one of the Avengers. I've now. seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Is that similar? Actually, you know what? No. That's actually, yeah, I would say the same thing. Okay. Yeah, because they, they shrink and then, remember, they, they go up the ants. Yeah. Same thing. I've also seen Ant Bully. Is it similar to that? Yes, bro. Case closed. Okay. Case closed. Last Friday, Marvel dropped another exciting trailer for the fans. The trailer was for the next stage of the Avengers movie franchise, Avengers Infinity War, where the Avengers will have to face off their biggest threat, Thanos, a villain that wants to destroy Earth and half the universe. As Thanos seems to be very powerful, he will defeat the Avengers or end the world. Or will the Avengers save the world once again? Find out on April 27th in theaters near you. So pre-order your tickets now to watch Marvel's next most anticipated movie ever. This is really the wrapping up of years of Marvel movies, it seems like. From what, Iron Man? To the Hulk, to, the Hulk. to Onward, to most recently Black Panther, yes. which was a huge hit. So, I mean, this movie is going to break records because oh, it's the culmination so. of every Marvel movie in the last maybe 10 so years. And I, and I definitely think that, um, I think something big will happen in this movie just because, you know, they're, kind of, they're trying to wrap it up, I think, yeah, to branch I, off to other things. This concludes this week's episode of HEB Flicks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and click that little notification bell for more weekly content. And remember, the Your blicky, blicky only, only gets sticky when you run, run from Ricky! Ricky.